Pauline and I'm a physical therapist and you're watching Clinical Sprinkles. Today we're going to go over how to improve your push-up and how to do a wrist warm-up. So first off we're going to want to stretch our wrists and the muscles that cross over our wrists. And so there's muscles that on our forearms that are on the back side and also the front side. So to stretch the front side what we're going to do is straighten our elbow and use our opposite hand to pull the wrist back. And then you should feel a big stretch on this part of your forearm. Like so. Then you're going to want to stretch the back side of our forearm and you do the same thing. You stick your arm out in front of you. You're going to use your opposite hand to grab all of the fingers and pull the wrist down. And now you should be feeling a stretch on this side of your forearm. You hold each of these for 30 seconds. Here's the side view of that. And then you'll do it on both sides. A good stretch to get both at the same time is that you're going to put your palms down on the floor like so and your fingers are facing towards you. So your middle finger is pointing towards you. Then what you're going to do is straighten your elbows, sit your butt back into your heels, and then you should feel a big stretch on the front side of your forearms here. You can also do this on the other side by turning the palms face up towards the ceiling next and then straighten the elbows and then lean back. I'll show you a side view of this. Careful when doing it this way when your palms up are face up towards the ceiling that you're not causing too much stress onto the wrist. You're not pushing as hard as you were when your palms were face down. And if you are getting a lot of stress on the wrist crease when you're doing the one with your palms face down on the ground, another good way to stretch the wrist joint is like this. So that now, if I'm going to stretch my left wrist, I'm going to make my fingers point towards the right, and then I'm going to put my palm flat on the ground. Then with my web space of my thumb and index finger here, I'm going to put the, I'm going to use that space and put it right on the wrist crease. And then what I'm going to do here is spread my knees apart and then I'm going to do a weight shift using this web space to push into that wrist crease. So I'm pushing at a diagonal angle down like this while I rock side to side. My elbow's hyperextend, so I'm trying to be really careful not to bend my elbow too far back. So now that our wrists are warmed up, we're going to try to practice some push-ups. I think the best way to gain your first push-up from the floor is to start on an elevated surface. Um, that way you can still practice being on your feet versus the knees because then if you're on your knees you're not using as much of your core muscles and it'll be a lot harder to progress from knees to full plank position compared to if you were already practicing the plank position and then reducing the incline so that you can get closer towards being parallel with the floor. So this box is 30 inches tall. It's about, um, about my hip level, just a little bit lower than that. So you can use a, a tall counter, you can use uh, your kitchen table, you can use your desk, anything that's elevated where you can keep good form. So then what you're gonna do from here, you're gonna have your palms against the surface, you're gonna engage your core, so make sure that this is nice and tight, and then you're gonna squeeze your quads as well. So then from here, you're gonna let yourself come down and then push yourself back up. So it's important that when you set up that you have your hands shoulder width apart. Make sure that you're not out wide like this because push-ups like this do engage a little bit more of the pecs. I mean, if you're angled down something like this, but way out here, you're just not stable in this position. So you want to make sure you tuck your elbows down and then your hands are much closer together by tucking your elbows down like that. So what you're going to do is have your palms onto the box or the surface that you're going to be coming down on. You're going to let your chest sink down towards the, the object and then push yourself back up. As I did this, I made sure that my elbows were close to my sides. They weren't flared out like this. They're tucked in close to my torso on the way down. And then when you're doing this, you also want to make sure that you go the full depth. You want to make sure your chest goes all the way down to that object. 
Then when you're ready to progress, you're just going to lower the surface. I went down by 10 inches, but you could find anywhere in between. In the, in the clinic when I do this, we use the tall counter to a plinth, and then you go down to a chair, and then you go down to the floor. So you can use kind of things around the house. It doesn't have to be a box like this, but just something where you are decreasing the level that you're doing it on, but still keeping good form. So I'll show you from this 20 inch level. So again, my hands are spread shoulder width apart. My palms are touching the surface that they're, that I'm gonna be pushing off from. And then I'm going to get into the plank position. So core is tight, my stomach's engaged, my quads are engaged, and then I lower my chest down to the surface, push back up, down to the surface, push back up. Again, keeping the elbows close to the sides. When you're all through with that, then you're ready to go down to the floor. It's probably going to take some time. So I would say I would, I would start someone off at making them comfortable at three sets of 10 of something with about 30 seconds to one minute rest break in between each set. And then to progress from there, then they go down to that lower surface and then maybe start by targeting around eight repetitions. And then they'd work themselves up to 10. Once they get to that three sets of 10 comfortably, then they lower themselves down again, all the way down until you get to the floor. So once you get down to here, then we do our floor push-ups. So hands are stacked right underneath the shoulders, and then I'm going to lower my chest down, and then back up. Like so. So say you have a, a surgical procedure or some other sort of limitation that make it so that your wrist physically can't bend all the way back even with doing the warm-up exercises. This is another modification that you can try is that you're going to get a towel and you're going to roll it up. Make sure that it's nice and tight because you're going to be putting your wrists, your palms on them. Then from here, if I put my weight on it, you can see that once I bend it, if I put weight on it, then it's not at a right angle at 90 degrees like this, it's kind of at a slant. And that will make it a little bit easier on your wrist to come all the way down. So it looks something like this. Another modification that you can try if that doesn't quite do the trick is to do it on your fists. So make sure that your thumbs are not tucked into your fists when you do this though. For those of you that can already do push-ups on the floor, awesome. Um, but hopefully the warm-up stretches were somewhat helpful for you so that you can do those prior to doing your push-ups. Thanks everyone again for watching. I hope you learned something. If you like what you saw, please give thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And then, as usual, please subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes. Thanks.